Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a productive vlog slash September reset. Today is Saturday, September 16th, so it's already like halfway through the month, but I feel like September is kind of the month where fall really sets in and it's kind of like the transition from summer. And I've been in school for pretty much exactly a month now, so I feel like it's the perfect time for a reset. It's also pretty cloudy outside today and it's getting cooler, so I feel like fall is definitely here and it's just the perfect day to film this video. I did want to say I recently got this new lip gloss from Sephora you guys have probably seen it. I've been wanting it for a while, but I finally got it It's the tower 28 lip jelly like lip gloss, whatever it's called I got it in the shade pistachio and it's my absolute favorite lip product I think I own and I know I say that about a lot, but like this is my favorite by far It's such a pretty color. It doesn't add too much to your lips Which is what I prefer, but it still makes a difference and it just moisturizes so so nicely But it's not sticky, which is what I like So if you ever need a good lip product check out tower 28, but anyways, it is currently noon So I figured we should get started with the video and before I do anything I actually want to make a to-do list of everything that I want to get done Just so I can keep myself on track and just have one big list of everything that I need to do to keep me organized Okay, so I have my iPad here and what I'm going to do is make my to-do list on Notability It has been my favorite app for like literally everything recently. It's been very helpful for school Especially I've done so much like test prep on here Basically if I have like a study guide for a class I'll like study with the study guide but then like the night before a test I make a new note on here and I do what I think is called like active recall I might be wrong But basically what I do is I just write down everything that I know about the unit that we just learned or like what we're gonna Be tested on and then I go back and kind of review what I've missed and all that kind of stuff So so helpful. It's hard for you guys to see like in this lighting But I've made little like subjects on the side so I can organize all of my little notes to different classes But anyways, we're gonna be making a to-do list on here today My favorite layout on notability is the grid background or like paper layout where where it just like has grids on it. I don't know. I like the look of it. Okay, so let me just tell you guys everything that I have on my to-do list today. The first thing I have is morning self-care, which includes a shower, skincare, and a little get ready with me. I already did that, so I can go ahead and check that off of my list. Next, I have clean my room. My room has not been in the best condition for the past week or two, so it definitely needs a clean. Look through my fall decor that I have and maybe go to Target and like shop for more if need be. I wanna bring out some of my fall stuff, at least like a candle or something, maybe like a cozy blanket, so we'll look through that. Update my calendar for September. Be productive, which includes YouTube and schoolwork. Clean slash organize my laptop and maybe redo like the desktop setup with like widgets and stuff. Add to my to buy list, which is basically like a list of things that I need to buy at some point. And the two things that I want to like research to add on that list are a new like hanging car freshener and then a pair of shoes, like athletic shoes. And then lastly, I just have journal at the end of the day just for like some self care. I don't know if you guys can tell by like the sound of my voice, but I think I might be developing a cold, which would be my first cold of this school year, unfortunately. I've seen so many TikToks of people being like, they've caught their first like school cold or something like that. And I was going strong for a while. I don't know, maybe I just have allergies, but I don't think allergies come in the fall. Not too sure. Maybe it's like the change in weather because it's getting cooler outside, but I definitely think I'm developing a cold. I don't know. My nose was runny all of yesterday and today. So yeah, that's just great. Also, I cut the neckline off of this shirt yesterday. If you guys watched my white fox haul for back to school like a while ago, I got this shirt and it's so cute. And recently I've been chopping a lot of my shirts and I saw this one in my closet and I was like That would be so cute to just cut off the neckline So I cut it off and like kind of been stretching it out and now it's kind of like this off the shoulder And I think it's so cute. But anyways, we need to get started with everything that we have to do today So I'm gonna start off by cleaning my room All right, here we go mm -hmm, yeah. Jamal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All 
All right, my room is all clean and now we can move on to the next item on my to-do list, which is look through my fall decor. I'm actually super excited to do this. I'm not really gonna be putting up like a lot of stuff, especially because most of my fall decor is more like Halloween. And personally for me, Halloween does not start till like October, which isn't for another few weeks. So I just wanna get some of like my fall stuff out just to see if I even like have any or if it's all like Halloween stuff. So I'm gonna grab my like decorations bin out of my closet and then we'll go through everything. Okay, so I have my bin here and this bin is basically like my festive decorations bin. I keep it in the closet every year. Basically, it just has my Christmas and like Halloween stuff. So I have a variety of things in here. Obviously, you can see Christmas stuff, but I also have like this set of pumpkins, this bigger pumpkin. I have this candle, which I bring out every year. It's called Cozy Nights from Target and it's one of my favorite like seasonal smells. Like I don't think it would be considered like just Christmas. I feel like you could categorize this as Christmas or like fall. So I definitely want to take it out. And I have a few other like Halloween themed decorations that are like little string lights that are purple and orange. So I think I'm gonna stick with this set of pumpkins. I won't probably put out all of them, but maybe just a few for fun and then definitely put out this candle. I also went through and looked at throw blankets that I already have because I've had this one on my bed for a little bit now and it is so cute, but it definitely doesn't fit like the fall vibes. And I found this one and I feel like this one fits perfectly because it still like matches my room, but I feel like this shade of like rosy pink kind of gives fall without being too like Halloween, if that makes sense. I also have like a cream white throw blanket, but I feel like putting that on top of like my white comforter just wouldn't look the best right now. We're gonna go with this one. All right, I placed all my little decorations everywhere. I ended up deciding on three of these little pumpkins, one of this like light orange, a darker orange, and then a white one. I don't know if you guys can see, I actually put the white one up here on my bed. I wanted to keep the fall decorations kind of chill just because for me, September is still like fall, but not Halloween. So I didn't want to go too extreme. I do have my favorite scented candle out called Cozy Nights from Target. My absolute favorite one. I have it burning right now. It smells amazing. And I actually haven't like burned a candle in a while. I don't know, but I'm loving the vibes right now. So next up on my little to-do list here is to update my calendar for September Even though it's halfway through the month already I still want to like put events that I have for this month on my calendar because it's been sitting here hanging on my wall at my desk And it's still in August. So we definitely need to switch that up I feel like i'm so bad at changing my calendar and like updating it every month One thing that I've been wanting to do for so long now is to re like customize my desktop on my MacBook. I don't know how long like widgets have been available on the MacBook for, but I have seen so many TikToks of people like customizing the desktop of their MacBook, making it look so cute, productive, and just super like customized. And I've been wanting to do it for so long and I never had just like the time to sit down and do it. Also, my desktop is kind of cluttered right now, so I need to clean it off anyway. So I figured I would take some time now just to like customize it and figure out how to do it in the first place because I actually don't know how to do it or even like what I want to do. Like I said before, today is super cloudy. Like today is super cloudy and it's definitely cooler than it's been recently. It's still like 73 degrees because I think it's a bit humid outside, but it's just very cloudy outside. So it's definitely setting the vibe for me today, which is just super chill. So I'm going to pull out my Beats headphones to listen to some music and we're going to attempt to figure out how to like customize my MacBook. <laughs> Start your computations. Okay, so I've been sitting here for a little bit customizing my MacBook and honestly, I'm not like 100% in love with it, but I feel like it's the best we're gonna get for now. It doesn't even look bad, but here is what it looks like. So I just have this little aura background. I put these two little flower icons for my folders and then I added this clock widget, a notes widget, and then a Spotify widget. And that is everything for my MacBook. Definitely a cuter look than I think I had before or just at least something different to like look at. But yeah, I'm finished with that. My camera battery is about to die, so I need to change that quick. 
quick and then we'll move on to something else. Hi guys, so I just wanted to pop in and talk to you guys about a product that I recently launched with Ana Luisa. Over the past like 10 months, I had been working on a project with Ana Luisa and creating a necklace with them. And over the summer, I was able to release it live for you guys to purchase. And the responses that I've gotten over the necklace and just the whole project overall have been so, so positive. And I just wanna thank you guys so much for all of your support. This is the necklace that I launched with Ana Luisa. It is a Zodiac necklace. It's gold and it does come in all the different Zodiac signs. And I swear to you guys, I wear this every single day. I don't take it off to like shower or go to the beach or anything like that. It's always on me. And even if I wear it in the shower or in the beach or in the pool, it doesn't tarnish, it doesn't break. It just stays the best quality. When I was creating this, I wanted to make a necklace that you could wear on a daily basis. So it would be simple enough to match with any outfit, but it can also enhance your outfits and you can layer it as well. And I think it was pretty successful in that with this necklace. You can also close it off with different lengths so you can make it shorter or longer. I know I've been loving the necklace and your guys' responses have shown that you've been loving it as well. And I'm just so, so happy. One of my favorite parts about this necklace is that it does have the little like zodiac pendant but what's cool about it is it's like stuck on the chain like it doesn't have a loop around the chain where you can like move it around it just stays in place so when i wear it all day it doesn't like move around my neck flip upside down all that kind of stuff it sits perfectly in place and looks great all day and just the quality of this necklace is just amazing i'm so happy with how the necklace turned out with how the whole launch and product went i did make a whole like launch video where i talked more in depth about my launch about the necklace the design process and all that kind of stuff so if you do want to check it out i'll put it up here in the i card and if you are interested in checking out my necklace and purchasing it you can go to the link in my description down below you guys definitely do not have to purchase the necklace to support me just seeing this video watching this clip and just supporting me overall is enough in itself this has definitely been one of my favorite projects overall that i've done on my channel i love working with ana luisa everyone that i've worked with from ana luisa has been so sweet with me and they always walk me through everything and just make sure everything is perfect always does what works best for me which is just amazing so thank you so much to the ana luisa team for being so so supportive of me and for working with me over the past few years. Once again, if you do want to check out my necklace, it is in the description of every video that I post. It's also linked on my link tree on my TikTok and my Instagram bios. That is all I wanted to say for now. So now let's get back to the video. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. Please excuse how I look and how I sound. I definitely think I have a cold now. Like this runny nose has been going on for a few days. It's like runny but plugged at the same time and it's so annoying. And I also can't hear very well because of like how stuffed I am. So just please excuse that. Also, I didn't want to get ready today because I'm literally just doing like homework. So please excuse that. I'm wearing this little like cat shirt that technically is mine, but I gave to Nika and then she let me borrow. So yeah, it got back to me, but I'll give it back at some point. But please just excuse how I look and how I sound. Yesterday, after I stopped filming to charge my camera battery, I went out to get food with some friends and then we hung out and played card games for a few hours. So I didn't get home till like 11. So today, since today is Sunday, I have a good amount of work to do before school tomorrow. So I figured I would end this video with like a productive segment. I honestly don't think I have like that much homework, which is actually really really nice but i'm just going to write in my planner here and get started with some of the stuff that i have to do one thing that i kind of want to focus on for like this september reset is wearing my blue glasses more i feel like i haven't worn them like at all like i'm on my computer so much for school and youtube and just in general and i feel like i need to like be better at wearing these so that like my eyesight doesn't get worse also lighting my favorite candle just to help set the mood <laughs> 